It's Greta and I, and we're back in the kitchen, and we're going to make some toasted quinoa energy bites. Uh, this is a super, super easy recipe for you to try out, um, especially with the kids at home, if you're wanting something that's healthy, nutritious, fast and easy. This is a really, really, really simple recipe. Uh, it does call for peanut butter, or you can use almond butter. So if, there, if you have a nut allergy in your house, obviously, you're going to want to substitute a safe nut, nut alternative nut butter in there, okay? So what I've already done was in the skillet, okay, this is hot right now, so I'm not going to touch it, uh, I put in three quarters of a cup of quinoa. I preheated the pan for a couple of minutes, and then I put the quinoa in, and I let it toast in there for about five minutes until, um, until it started like crackling or popping sounding. And then I put it into the batter bowl here. Also inside this batter bowl, I've put in, I'm just reading the ingredients again, two thirds of a cup of coconut. You, it, The recipe calls for sweetened. I've done them many, many times with unsweetened. Uh, when I was last in the grocery store a while ago, I couldn't find unsweetened, so this is sweetened. And it calls for half a cup of miniature chocolate chips. Ben could be in here, come on. Uh, miniature chocolate chips. I have done them before with normal uh, chocolate chips. I just find they're a little bit big because they want to, excuse guys, because uh, I find when they're too big, they don't, the, they won't actually bind well enough. Oh, Benjamin's joining us too. So if you do have the mini chocolate chips, awesome. If you don't have them, I just recommend chopping them up so that they're a little bit smaller, okay? We're just gonna have two in here, okay, yo? Those two are so good. Yeah, they, they are sweet. good. And then so I've got my, excuse me for a second, I've got my quinoa, I've got the coconut, and I've got the chocolate in there. All we need to do now is we're gonna add in the peanut butter. Yep, so this has uh, three quarters of a cup of peanut butter, so I'm going to tilt it over and now push it, Ben. Yep. Okay. Now take that Greta and scrape it off. Scrape off the top so we get it off. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. And then I've got honey. You can use honey or agave. It calls for a third of a cup. I'm doing a little less okay. than that. Yep. Push it. Ready? You push it and then I'll mix. Ouch. That got my finger. Ooh. I'll mix it. Okay. Well, we want to be careful with the I'll scraper because you're... Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec because you're getting all your ingredients on the top. You wanna to scrape it so that it's clean at the top, okay? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We also have to add in the um, quick oats. So this is actually two cups of quick oats in the mini food processor. We're just gonna um, process them a little bit so they're finer, so that when we put the energy balls together, they bind better. Yep. You're a lefty, so you wanna turn it around? Yeah, okay. Together. I find it's it's, so good. 
<laughs> I find it's uh, it's cooled down a little bit more. Let's keep our hair out, guys. Let's let's, stay, let's lean back, Greta. Lean back. You've got your hair up. You're not. Yours not up. Same as mine, right? Okay. So we're gonna keep doing that, and then what you do is you take one of your scoops. The recipe calls for the medium scoop. Okay. I'm gonna use the small one just because we've got medium, little medium, medium. we've got little people eat, eating on here. What? So a little bit smaller, just a second. Bigger. We're big people. <laughs> um, spoon for a big person. So all I'm doing because it's kind of stuck to the scraper right now. Yeah. Can I, I just that? use the little guy to. Get, Look at me. No, thank you. Okay, come on. Okay, so it's coming together. But like I said, if I hadn't have waited a couple of minutes, the quinoa would still be hot and it would melt the um, the peanut butter a little bit more. But what you do with the scoop, obviously you want to make sure that you will have washed your hands. You're going to take your you scoop. Your hands. He's, oh, yeah. he's all right. He's all right. And you're going to take the scoop. This is when I take off any rings and just roll them a little bit. Oh, can I do okay. it? No, you're not gonna do it right now, okay? Mm. And so you keep doing that, fill up your tray. I've lined, this is the half sheet fill pan. Fill up tray, then roll them. And then I've added in some parchment paper, and then I'm gonna pop them into the freezer for about 10 minutes, and then they're all good, okay? So I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you guys try them, and if you like them, and uh, take some pictures if you do them. So I'll see you later, ciao.